What's up everyone, Seth Sanchez here, and today we're gonna to talk about replaceable lens foots on the Canon IS Mark II telephoto lens lineups. Now, there is a very minor issue with uh, the telephoto lenses from Canon, the IS Mark II one specifically. When you have the original lens foot on it, attached to a heavier body like the 1DX, it tends to lean back more because more of the weight is put in the back. The IS Mark II telephotos are so lightweight that putting the 1DX, for example, causes them to be unbalanced where more of the weight is in the back end of the camera or the whole setup and it's kind of awkward when you're trying to carry it or when you lift it up with one hand it'll like immediately tilt back and it's just kind of awkward it's not a huge deal it's not gonna you know affect your photos at all because at the end of the day you do what you want to do I've seen plenty of professionals on silence that have the original lens foot. It doesn't affect at all. It's not like, oh, you have to replace this. You have to go spend the $200 for this setup. It's just a little thing that I figured I'd make a video on just to show you guys. It's pretty interesting. Um, now, I'm not sure if this works with uh, cheaper uh, camera bodies such as, you know, the ones that are really more compact like the 7D, 7D Mark II, 5D, 6D, all that stuff. All the tinier bodies that are not going to be as heavy as the 1DX. I'm going to assume that when you have a cheaper body on there and a much smaller compact body on a telephoto, the more of the weight's going to be towards the front. But either way, it's a pretty cool little add-on that you can, you know, add, you can replace the original lens foot that comes with the IS Mark II lenses. Uh, this one I have allows you to, uh, with a quick release plate, you can slide it forward and backwards to adjust the weight balance on it so that it's not going to, you know, drastically go forward or drastically go back. And it's especially useful when, if you have like a teleconverter added, you're gonna add more weight to the back. So what you can do is slide the lens foot forward on the quick release plate and tighten it. And then that way you make up for that extra weight on the back. So that's the whole point of it, is just to keep it balanced. And also uh, the lens foot that I have is longer, so you can move it forward and back more. You have more you know, room to work with it and keep it more balanced. So. Let's just jump into it and I'll show you guys the difference. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the original lens foot from the Canon 400mm 2.8 IS Mark II attached to the 1DX. And then I'm going to show you the new replaceable lens foot that was made by Naturescape uh, and along with the Wimberley C30, uh, what was it, quick release uh, add-on to it that goes on top of the monopod and allows you to slide it forward and backward and adjust it. So let's go check it out. Alright, so as you can see here, with the original lens foot on, on a normal monopod, this is a Gitzo uh, GM5561T, so it's, I believe it's Gitzo's highest end uh, monopod, but, so it has it on a very nice monopod, um, it's on there, this is with the normal lens foot, and as you'll notice, if I let go, you can kind of see the weight is going backwards, and, or to the left or right, watch, I'm trying to keep it as balanced as I can kind of goes back a little. It'll either go to the left or right. When we let go of it, it's going to go somewhere. But I'm trying to show you that when it goes, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if it's as straight as it can be. And here comes my cat. So I keep it like this. If I let go, it's falling back. I'll try to put forward a little bit more. And it goes back. It does, it, 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 it's either going to, it's going to go somewhere, obviously. It's gonna usually when you have it balanced, it should just go left or right. I mean, sometimes it'll go forward or back, but every time it's going back, and that's because there's so much weight back here in this area. And with the lens foot, the way they made it for unknown reason, I don't know what they were thinking when they were making this, but I guess it was just some minor mistake that just slipped by. But it makes it so that with the 1DX, this is with the 1DX, by the way. So with this heavy body, on um, with this whole setup right here, it makes more of the weight in the back. So the weight isn't balanced on this thing with this foot. So you can see it keeps falling back, straight back. And it can be kind of annoying. It's a little bit awkward when you have this rig and you're kind of carrying it. Like when I hold it up, it, it just, look at that. I'm not even forcing it to go back because God's my witness. I'm just lifting it up and it just, autumn, right away, it just falls back, as you can see. I'm not pulling it back. I'm, I'm trying to hold it straight up. And if you own this rig or if you rent it, try it yourself with the original lens lens foot that it comes with. Just give it a try. I'm just lifting it up with one hand. And right away, it just the weight is just back. 
Um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the new lens foot that I have, or that I already own. Uh, I'll show you the difference. Okay guys, so what we got here now is the Wimberly C30 quick release uh, plate. And it's about $100 for this one. Uh, I know they have different sizes for like smaller lenses, but this one's used for the 400 and uh, pretty much I think 600, 400, 500, uh, 800, and possibly even the 300. I'm not quite sure because I know they have different sizes for the new lens foot as well. As you can see right here, this is the Naturescape. A replaceable lens foot for selected Canon lenses. Uh, as you can probably notice, let me see if I can get this up for you guys. It is uh, a little bit longer, which is really good because that means you can slide it forward and back to adjust the, uh, you know, how how you want the weight to be balanced, and that's the whole point of it. So let me just slide it on so you guys can see, and how you can see how it goes on and stuff. Instead of having to, you know, twist it or sort of spin it on tightly. And over time, it does damage to the bottom of the foot, unless you don't care about that, but this is just one other pro side of it. Uh, you won't damage the bottom, which is, you know, in the future, if you want to sell it, uh, you can, you know, get a little bit more money out of it because so there won't be any damage down here. So I have the original foot, obviously, but I just save it in storage and don't use it. And when I, the time comes where I want to sell this, I can make a little bit more off it because there's less, there's no damage on the bottom. It's not a big deal because, yeah, you can take it off and just replace it, but I don't know how much Canon charges for the foot, but I would it shouldn't be that much money. But it's just one little pro side of it. And it, the other pro side to it is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you can uh, put it, install it a lot quicker. So how it works is you just twist this little thing and it loosens this right here. And you just slide it down, twist it. And it's on. Voila. And it's pretty cool. And let me see if you guys can see this okay. Yeah, I think we are good. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So pretty much, now that you have this set up, it allows you to just twist this right here, just loosen it, and you can slide it forward or backwards to adjust how you want the weight to be balanced. So let's say I put it right there, hold it up, and now it's going a little bit forward. Let's try again. Still a little forward, okay. So you can take this, and because it's going forward, pull it back a little bit. So that the weight is a little more balanced. Let's try it again. It's going sideways now. But then when you lift it up, it's not going back. A little bit forwardish, so if I wanted to fix it, a little bit back. One hand. Now the weight is balanced, and then when I want to carry it, it's not awkward because the weight isn't forcefully going back on me, you know. So it's nothing that I would say like you absolutely need. It's it's just a nice little add-on, but it's just something that you know. It's nice to have if you're. You noticed that if you have this lens or any of the IS2s from Canon uh, with a 1DX, uh, I don't like I said I don't know if, it, if this happens with other camera bodies. I'm, I would assume it would happen with a 1D Mark IV or something more bulkier, maybe if it, with a battery grip on a camera, like a 7D or 5D. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But with this, they just made the weight unbalanced. They made the lens so light that the 1DX weight just kind of like forced it to go back. And as you saw earlier. It just kept going back and back and when I lifted it up with one hand, immediately it would go like that. Like it would just fall back because it was so awkward with the weight. And it was just really weird to carry and when you're shooting it kind of like would go back and you just, if you, the other thing I noticed too was when I was shooting water polo recently, uh, I, I had not shot with the lens foot for a long time but recently I lost my uh, old monopod and this, I lost the, uh, replaced the, the, the what do you call this, a quick release plate on top of it. So I had to buy another monopod and the quick release plate and again, and uh, when I got my new monopod, I, I, I bought this piece separate from someone else so it still hadn't arrived. So I had to use the original twist on in the meantime when I was shooting and uh, put the original foot on. So I went and shot water polo and I noticed that it was tremendously more difficult to do uh, shooting with multiple bodies. When I was shooting, 
you know, as, as you've seen in how to manage multiple body video that I have, I showed you guys that you want to uh, basically, you know, you're shooting, you want to go like this and then shoot. But with the old foot, I don't know what it was, but when I grabbed it like this, this part would just spin over here and get in my face. Like I couldn't control it. Like with this, I can just lock it in and it's, it's good. And I got my camera, I'll shoot, follow me. And I hardly ever have this camera spin over and hit me in the face. And I, so I had to, you know, do the whole old school version where you're shooting and you go get your camera and you would spin this around go like this, you know, but I, I don't mind this way, but the hardest thing about it is, uh, sometimes if you do it too fast, which you kind of have to do, is be fast, is this part down here would just fly up and it's just kind of awkward, you want to grab control of it so it doesn't fall. But yeah, first world problems, right? So um, that's it for this video, guys. I just figured I want to show you guys a little something that I you know, just found out about the uh, IS Mark II Canon Super Telephoto lenses, a little minor issue. Um, I've People have been complaining about it uh, and said that it was a bit annoying, so just figured I'd show you guys since I had the setup and you know what I thought about it. I mean, if you have the IS twos, I recommend getting it. It's only it's 100 bucks for this, and then I think 100 dollars for this. So it is a little bit pricey because for a little feature like that, but it's also really good if you're shooting with converters. If if you add a teleconverter down here, um, it's going to add more weight in the back. So with this foot, you can just you know slide it uh, back more to balance it forward more, and it has it's much longer than the original. Because the original, you can only put it in two spots, a little bit forward or a little bit back. This, you can literally go way up here, way back there, and just adjust it to your liking, which is really cool. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for your support. And as always, I'll see you next time.